These are the more strategic ones. And again, this is eye-opening. I think it's really clear and very useful. Here we go. Long-term perspective. I mentioned this is a bit of a mirror. Redefine your leadership style. Stop, think, reflect what's working, what might be better if I changed. Redefine your leadership style. Support actively dual career paths. So the idea that you are supporting absolutely, I want to help you in your outside life as well as your inside life. Cultivate mentorship programs. This is simply massive. Last week I was with an incredible organization called Title IX. That's a, a business by women for women. One of the things they do is they offer any entrepreneur in California who is female the opportunity to be mentored by one of their leaders. And last week we had those mentorees coming to present their entrepreneurial ideas to an audience of 250 and winning uh, support in terms of finance from, from investors. It was a simply awesome example of what mentorship can do in terms of driving confidence, the ability to win big contracts because they gave mentorship and how you present and all those sorts of things. Incredible environment of mentorship. Uh, these are obvious, aren't they? But my goodness me, I don't see much championing. We've got experts in the room for this. Of course, Sally Aduke here uh, works for a company called Inclusivity. And if you need help and support, the experts are in this room or we can introduce you to them. Uh, develop and empower female leadership. In my experience, and I'm passionate about the subject of leadership in general, but in my experience, the world needs more female leaders because they bring a different empathy and a different perspective of collaboration, full stop. Now, that might sound sexist, but it's actually experiential. So, that is a list that I'm going to use constantly. I've, got, I've taken a photograph, got on my phone, and just say, are you following these principles within the organizations with which you work? Mm -hmm.